The president has apparently gone after officials he has perceived as being disloyal. One of the top officials in the Pentagon has resigned at the president's request. John Rood was the Department of Defense's top policy official. The New York Times reports the move prompted the director of the DOJ's election crimes branch to resign from his post within hours. President Trump fired Defense Secretary Mark Esper. The Pentagon's top policy official also resigned Tuesday. The White House removed the official in charge of the federal program, producing the next edition of the National Climate Assessment. New shakeup at the White House. President Trump ousting overnight his acting chief of staff and naming a new person to the job. President Donald Trump has fired Defense Secretary Mark Esper. Trump's decision to cut Esper has raised questions about what the president may try to do before leaving office, including adjustments in the presence of troops overseas or other national security changes. All these changes come just a little over 70 days until the next inauguration. Administration officials are sounding the alarm, warning of something that one official calls really fishy. This president's going to try to steal this election. This is a guy who said that all mail-in ballots are fraudulent. Direct, voting by mail while he sits behind the desk in the Oval Office and writes his mail-in ballot to vote in the primary. This is a guy you have 23, I believe, in his states have passed over, over uh, 82 pieces of legislation making it harder for people to vote. Harder. That's why we're putting together a major initiative of lawyers to go out and make sure that we're in every single district in the country to patrol this. We need, if I'm president, they, and this is what their worries, if I'm president, we're going to have same-day registration. Here you have four chiefs of staff coming out and ripping the skin off of Trump. And you have so many rank-and-file military personnel saying, whoa, we're not a military state. This is not who we are. I promise you, I'm absolutely convinced they will escort him from the White House in a, in a, with great dispatch. He's going to be out of office in 2020, early 2021. And think what that means. If he doesn't win re-election, there's not just a new president, Anderson. There's a new attorney general. There's a new secretary of the treasury, a new director of the IRS, perhaps a new director of the FBI. And once he is out of office, his, the senators can't help him, even if the Republicans maintain the majority in the Senate. He's going to be in the hands of the courts. And it does appear that there's going to be plenty to follow up. He'll be, if he's not in prison, he'll be in the courts for years. Do you think Trump could end up going to jail if he is not reelected because of anything in here? No question about it. And his daughter could go to jail too. Tax evasion is a five-year felony. It's a pretty serious crime. And the more money that's stolen, the longer you go to jail for. He is desperate to win. And by the way, if he doesn't win in 2020, you're going to see the ugliest departure from the White House in American history.